Welcome back from a week of joy, pure bliss and sorrow. It's been a weekend that saw the end of the season of major European leagues and more like an end to an happy era for the men. I guess the women are happy about that. So Chelsea won the EPL, Real Madrid won the La Liga on the last day and John Terry finally retires from Chelsea after a long stint with them. And yes, John DeMello is in the news again for obvious reasons. Hi, welcome to Joy News Interactive here on Joy News on Multi TV Live and DSTV Channel 421, Go TV Channel 144. Get your comments through to us on Facebook and Twitter as Joy News on TV. Now, remember the incident at the University of Cape Coast that led to the destruction of property belonging to the Atlantic Hall? Yeah. It was a whole week celebration and there was a power night. Well, the university has investigated the matter, has found 22 students culpable. And so these 22 students have been rusticated. Yes, they have been rusticated. Let's get to read your reactions to this rustication on social media. And Sana Mohammed says, if there is much evidence since violence and abetment of crime, uh, it's, a, it's a crime, then they should be punished according to the code of ethics of the institution concerned. And Jacob says, it's in the light, it's in the right order. Students need to take responsibility uh, for their actions, bearing in mind that they are adults. And this thing uh, is really sometimes disgusting, but they have uh, settled is the matter once and for all. I don't get it, but this is serious. I wish those affected students could drag the entire authority to shred. It's a displacement of punishment, uh, Hoga is saying. So, as uh, some people think it's not fair to the students, others think that, you know, it's the right order. Definitely mixed reactions about the rustication of 22 students from the University of Cape Coast after the clash that happened between, uh, uh, I think, Athletic Hall and some other students. Okay, moving on to another issue that will blow your mind. Maybe... I'm not too sure. Musician Trick the Matic. Trick Matic has started a campaign that will whip young children or people as interest in agriculture. Trigmatic in an interview on Daybreak Hits with KMG said the campaign is aimed at creating awareness of how important agriculture is in the development of the country. He explained that Grow Ghana, Eat Ghana campaign is about being able to monitor or being in control of the things that we eat as Ghanaians. I hear people importing rubber rice and all sorts of things. Since Ghana has been blessed, we have to bring our agriculture back as indicated green in Ghana in our flag. And we want more people to get involved, especially the youth. So let's read your Facebook comments. Let's see how you've been reacting to this one by Trigmatic, who is a musician, yeah, firing into or veering into agriculture and he says i like this gentleman so much his music and lyrics are so deep good initiative hope your colleagues follow suit i'm terribly shocked at the loud silence of the so-called celebrities on national issues such as galam singh uh, that's great initiative and he should add an education on the application of chemicals to avoid poison on our menu how about Ghanaians going into tech and manufacturing uh, at Manifestive is asking, and Rafi says, that's what's up, and Sadiq says, nice program. So, Trigmatic is not the only entertainer who has gone into agriculture or farming. We have the likes of Samini. Samini is into farming as well. A lot more others in the entertainment industry have decided to go farming. I think that David Oscar also is farming. I, I don't know what I said on a large scale, but I know that uh, some entertainers have decided to go into farming, including Adani Best. So, John DeMello is trending, and uh, let's see the picture on the screen, why he is trending. Now, there's a picture of a young graduate from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. I think that John DeMello knows this young man. So he posted the picture of this young man who is selling bread or on the streets, and uh, captioned, if we can see the caption, uh, what um, John DeMello wrote, he says, Okay, so let's read what has been posted. Actor John DeMello has come under criticism for a post he made on social media last week. He posted a picture of a young KNUST graduate with caption, Just saw a KNUST grad hawking in traffic. What went wrong? 
he asked. And uh, musician A Plus is one of the people who have criticized John DeMello for the post, which they say demeans Hawking and the efforts of a graduate simply trying to survive. Not only has A Plus criticized John DeMello, uh, a blogger by name Chris Vincent is now daring John DeMello to provide his KNUST certificates, claiming that John didn't graduate from the institution. He says if John is able to show us that he graduated from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, he, Chris Vincent, who is the owner of GhanaCelebrities.com, who shut his blog. So we are waiting for a reaction from John DeMello. We posted this on social media. Let's read what you have been saying. And Nana Kwesi Wusu says, Someone writes, double standards of Ghanaian society. Where is the backlash when Councillor Lutra sits on radio and lashes out at individuals calling them by name and also addresses different demographics of Ghanaian society? Uh, if you can read some more, but that alone has uh, gotten 16 replies. And uh, so people are agreeing with that post. And uh, if uh, Aram Dag says, I agree with you saying, John. Uh, Dumelo asked the legit question, but on Councillor Lutra's issue, you were wrong because that man says the truth, but his language or words are the problem. Try to understand his points, not his words. He says nothing but the truth. If anyone can tell me one instance that he said something which is false, I'm not saying tell me some of the instances he abused individuals. And uh, Ababio says, I guess he should have taken his time to go through the guy's profile. The fact that someone takes delight in something doesn't spell his status. And uh, Ababio again comes to say, I guess, he, okay, that's the same thing you posted earlier. And Tim Tony says, that is someone's idea, uh, not, general, or not generally accepted idea the guy didn't probably go to school to get a job he probably went to school to study marketing and get knowledge to establish himself as he did and from the interview granted he loves what he's doing and he's not complaining so why publicly humiliate him that was one hell of a mockery and okay so uh uh amir here Messi says what you were made to believe is primitive in an era where 5,000 graduates come out every year. Those days we had about only a few universities and people got jobs with even A-level and O-level certificates. The mentality you have had most graduates still depending on their parents. In our time, education is to enlighten you to do anything, including hawking with exceptional skills. His intention for the post was to ridicule, and that's evil and discouraging, uh, you are saying. And uh, Chumwa says, what went wrong? This guy has been doing this for a while now. So what is uh, Dumelo's first time of seeing uh, him? You're asking, shaking my head. And Anakwasi, thank you. This is very true. And uh, is hawking on the street legal? Their answer is no. So Nicholas J. Uh, Jao is saying, and uh, you see, says, if this Jumelo is one of those core celebrities in Ghana, then we should look for another definition of the word. I started my life as a hawker from primary school and took care of myself, and now I hold a bachelor degree in marketing, and I'm an officer with the title in the organization I work for. Such elements should not be given media attention. If not, they will discourage the young ones into working hard to make ends meet and uh, a child one g it says ghana let's think deep small how did john know this guy is a knust graduate my point is that they know themselves uh, or themselves and uh, john is just trying to market this guy's bread that's all and uh, louis Ousu amankwa says amwaku says people have forgotten that john Dumelo said the ndc campaign in takradi uh, the opportunity in NDC is very huge. He's got his share. And as Linke says, even parents who are under the sun tell these children if they don't want to be under the sun as they are, then they should learn hard at school. Now the gentleman has worked hard or worked hard, uh, graduated from school, and he still finds himself under the sun. We need to, uh, we need not ask what went wrong. My brothers, let's be sincere. John or Dumelo uh, hasn't said anything wrong. And Isoville says, I would ask same million times. Dumelo is perfectly right because he believes something is wrong with the education system. system sorry. In fact, it's high time we stood on our feet and faced the reality. Our curriculum doesn't fit in the modern job market. And um, uh, Kumoji says, this is 
how you can spin Ghana around, Ghanaians around. How did he know he's a KNUST grad, uh, grad graduate? Um, if you think of that, no need wasting your money making time for this. And even the guy whose picture was posted is not upset. And Alex Aguada says that the system is broken every single year. More graduates complete school and add on to the already number of graduates who haven't landed your hands on jobs. And when you try to search on yourself, it becomes wahala with so much difficulty in finding the resources. And Frank says, hmm, Ghana, have you paused and asked or to ask why he did that? But John, if you think Hawking is a shame for graduates, take it cool because life is full of surprises. You may be up there, but in the next minute, the guy in question will be above you. Like what happened to you and the NDC. So a lot of reactions from you concerning the comment John DeMello made about the man who was hawking bread claiming that he was a graduate of the University of Ghana. We'll take a break. There's still more to be read on this issue. <laughs> Welcome back from the break. Like I said before we took the break, uh, there's still more comments to be read on John DeMello's post uh, on his colleague or, and the young man who is hawking bread that he claimed attended the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Now, uh, Rita in Kosiakia says, uh, in so Sakia says, he started hawking when your government was in power and you did nothing about it. According to an interview, he said he loves his job. What's your problem? You're asking. And Shikome says, instead of thinking of how about what he means, uh, you're rather insulting him. After learning this far, uh, you come back to compete with those on the street. What did you learn at school? I just apply and make something better. Uh, is that quality? Okay, I'm not sure what you're driving at. And Kek Osai says, is better hawking in traffic and earning a living than to steal a state car defrauding ladies to get money thieves soon be in court and uh, uh german says uh, maybe some people here um are con uh, some people here refuse to understand what he said he's asking a question not mocking him but seriously what went wrong hashtag unemployment you think that's what went wrong and uh, nelson ogechi says uh, he didn't ask uh, anything wrong he just asked a simple question that every other individual will ask you all should stop the critics and uh, philip says the question is um this the question this jumel jumelo ask is not bad i think that's what you're saying who you all understand what he's trying to say but some are just getting it twisted please take it easy and i probably think it is a marketing strategy by both parties and guess what it worked and hey that guy is rich home he's a ceo of the a1 bread dumelo judged by his appearance and missed it and um growing up as a young boy my parents especially my mom advised me to go to school do well if i don't want to sell dog chains, push trucks as well, and run across in between traffic to sell bread and other pastries. In my mind, my understanding was that when I go to school and do well, these mentioned economic activities will be far away from me, meaning those who either do well in school and or illiterate will be fit for those economic activities mentioned earlier. I am therefore finding it difficult to at least get one reason why we should not be worried that our university graduates are selling bread on the street where you don't necessarily require any form of certification to do so. I nearly forgot that it came from John Dumelo, who perhaps uh, has John to his name, like the former president, John Draman Mahama. Those of you insulting and taking John to the cleaners, how many of you will pray to see God uh, to God to see your children through education to come and sell bread and dog chains as well as compete with vehicles for space on the road? Hypocrisy is the word that must be used to describe all those who do not want to sell 
bread, even though they are not even graduate. The thing that graduates should sell bread. May God open doors for your children and family members to go into selling of bread in traffic for us to buy. And so that's a long post uh, on uh, the topic of, for discussion or the issue at hand, John Jumelo. But need I say that the young man granted an interview truly and said that, you know, he loves what he does. He's a CEO of uh, the bakery A1, and uh, he's doing it because that is his passion. But there's a challenge, moving away from that issue, there's a challenge called, I see you challenge. And the question is, who do you see? <laughs> And that's a Nigerian actor, many call him Igwe Tupac. If you follow this young man, he's the same young man who said, I'm going to shine. You know, I want to shine, I want to shine, I want to shine. Then he did one with his mom, where he said, Mama, tell them how I take care of you. Mama, tell them I take care of you. Now he's starting a new challenge. He says, I see you. So this challenge, according to Igwe Tupac, is to appreciate the hustle of someone. So in this video, he's appreciating a friend who lives in the United States or abroad and the hustle he has to go through to fend for himself or to make a living. So he's seeing a brother. The question is, who do you see? Let's see who people are seeing on Facebook. And Frank says, I recognize my own hustle because nobody knows me more than myself. A person you see hustling may be in his or her comfortable zone because there is an individual, there is individual difference among people. And Blaze says, I don't know why, but this post got me really active this morning. And uh, Commando says, uh, okay, he's mentioning his friend's name, uh, Gio Bifin, Gio Kweku, Lim, uh, Organus, and uh, Mabukisa. So those are the people he's seen. He says, uh, Nero says, I see myself, and uh, myself from Minson Villa. The general says, myself, and uh, Mad Madame Messi and Mwakun, proprietors of Glory Academy Complex at Ach Akim Chiapasi. And that's the one that... A park we see a foam is seen. So people are seeing people. People are appreciating people's hustle. So it's I see you challenge. See somebody. Who do you see? Uh, 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 uh. So the 2016-2017 football season has ended, and I am happy because now I can get my brother and all the other men's full attention. Because I remember that they were occupied every time it was weekend. Yes, so now that it's ended, how will their weekends be? The guys who love football, even the ladies do love football, we are asking, now that the football season has ended, what will you be doing during your weekends? And let's see what you're saying. Hmm, just wondering how I will cope with the boring weekends. Now I'm addicted. And Hearts and Kotoko can make more money now. Ghanaians with appetite for foreign goods. <laughs> and uh, I have got low weight and a crobe too. No problem, cra. And start watching Wafa play. And uh, uh, time for going out with babes on weekends. And uh, start listening to Stoneboy and Shatawali song. And we'll be reading uh, my Bible and praying more, says Inshira. And Jay says, that's the problem. Oh. Syria A is not, so he will be watching Syria. Syri Syri A. Uh, Syria A. And all types of prayers will be said, says Dennis. And Syria A hasn't ended, says Basal. And I will install games in my PC or on my PC. I will now visit family and friends, says Brian. So people are thinking of what they're going to be doing uh, with your weekends now that the season of football is over. Now, before we go, Chelsea legend John Terry has retired from the club after a successful stint with the club. He won every trophy he needs to win with the club and he's retired on a high note because he scored a goal yesterday what would you remember john terry for now that he's no longer going to be playing for chelsea let's see what you've got to say yesterday i saw him shed some tears you know and while people pay tribute to him on the pitch and uh, he was a good leader and never backlashed his players for errors. Um, we saw the respect he received at Stanford Bridge yesterday. That's true. And uh, Gideon says his education to the blue shirt. Inspirational leader, I call him. Mr. Chelsea, you fought a great fight and you really kept the faith. Do farewell, J Team. And his passion and hard work, Kwame saying, no one is bigger than a club, but he's big, says Wills Williams. And Isambilla says, I'll be 
he'll be remembered for his hard work and Wayne Bridge near Kra and uh, he would also be remembered uh, for his inspiration says Sadiq so that's how people will be remembering the man JT John Terry who is finally retired from football now let's see the picture for today so that's a picture in your short pot brick turret 50 pesos I guess that's me so pot brick Torrets is a picture in your short and that's a, a, a caption to say that there's a public toilet uh, somewhere there that people should go uh, pay 50 pesos for. And uh, Loba said, there is really the need for free SHS. And that's right, yes, is uh, is at the tech junction. Okay, so Bongo knows where this is. And uh, Steven says, I think it's a marketing strategy. And uh, let's see what else some people are saying about the picture of the day. And uh, Marshall says, depending on where you went to school, laugh out loud. This should be correct, I guess it says. And uh, English, you're saying. I do my friend doesn't say this kind of uh, thing. I'm not sure. And Jay says, I know where you can locate it, okay? And our brothers keep winning. And this one is from Kumasi. Well, how sure are you? Uh, no evidence, David. And Kumasi is a location. Ha, ah, I can't stop laughing. And that's from Robert. And from that base, and um, Bernard says, and um, uh, Nas says, or oh, Nas says, oh, wow. And Nisambila says, English teacher, what has English teacher done? Uh, let's see that comment. English teacher, and he says, where else? Our brothers keep making us proud and obvious. And this is, now this is a serious matter. And uh, Ajakwa says, wonderful. GH is wonderful. So a lot of people reacting to the picture of the day. Power break turrets. That'll be it for today's edition of Join This Interactive. Thanks for joining us. My name is Miss G. I'll be back later on the Prime News with Entertainment. Please stay tuned to the Join This channel. There's still more to come. Have a good morning.